All right, let's go ahead and simplify this function. So if I look at this, um, we're adding two fractions, or rational expressions here. Uh, what that means is that we need common denominators before we can add. And to find those common denominators, what I'm going to do is factor out both of the denominators. So we've got x squared plus 14x plus 48. So I need two factors of 48 that would add up <clears throat> to 14. And the two that come to mind would be 6 and 8, because if I add those two, I get the middle coefficient, which is 14. So my denominator there is going to split up into x plus 6 and also x plus 8. So let's go ahead and add this to the other fraction, which is 6 over this polynomial. So if I can find two factors of 24 that add up to 10, then we should be in great shape. And the two that come to my mind are 4 and 6. So I got x plus 4 and x plus 6. Now if I had a coefficient for the x squared, then I would be doing this factoring by uh, grouping. But since the coefficient of that x squared is 1, we can simply put the factors with the x and just add those in. So keep that in mind. That's why we're doing it like this. Uh, what we need to do now is look, and we can see that both of these denominators have an x plus 6. Uh, what they don't have is in common right now is an x plus 8. So we're going to force that in there. We're going to multiply the fraction on the left by x plus 8 in the denominator, but also the numerator as well. And that way it's like multiplying by 1. We're just scaling this fraction uh, by a factor of x plus 8. Now on the other hand, this fraction has an x plus 4, or this denominator does, and the other denominator doesn't, so we're going to need to multiply the other denominator by the same x plus 4, just so that they're common. But if I do it to the uh, denominator, I must also do it to the numerator as well. So that gives us a new function, which would look like this. So having those common denominators allows us to add this numerator, which is x times x plus 4, and then we'll add it to this other numerator, which is 6 times x plus 8. Now, if we distribute the x and the 6, we would have this new uh, expression here, this new function. So this is what we have now. And from here, uh, just looking at that numerator, we can combine the 4x and the 6x. There's no like terms with x squared or 48. All right, so there we have it. Uh, now we need to look at that top expression there. And if we can find any two factors of 48 that would add up to 10, then uh, we can split that up as well. So here's a list of all the factors I can think of. And right there, I don't see that any of those are going to add up to 10. So what that means is that um, this is going to be our final answer. Uh, you should be careful, though, because sometimes on the homework, that will be factorable. And then perhaps you may find that the x plus 6s cancel out or the x plus 8s or the x plus 4s. So you may be looking at something to cancel these out with just in some of the other problems.